Hey guys, gonna do a breakdown on the discus tank here. Don't mind my reflection in the background there. Um, this is my 55 gallon. This is a tank I purchased off of Craigslist, so it's not the best quality aquarium you can get, but it was cheap and it gets the job done for now. I do have a 110 tall sitting in my garage, screaming my name at night. Just screaming for me to put a sump inside of it and just get it going here. But, uh, all good things in, in due time. Alright, this is a planted aquarium. The substrate in the aquarium is just gravel and sand mixed together. I do uh, do have some sea chem root tabs in there for the plants. Uh, we've got Amazon swords there along the back. And then we've got multiple species of Anubias here in the foreground uh, in the driftwood and planted into the substrate there. I am using... A UV sterilizer, I, I wouldn't call it that. I would call that a water clarifier. I doubt that's doing a whole lot of sterilization. But as you can see, it's keeping the water pretty darn clear. Uh, I do like that. Got a 200 gallon per hour power head up there in the corner. A 200 watt heater keeping this aquarium at 86 degrees. Uh, the filtration is not adequate. I'm using a Cascade 500 canister filter. Now, I know that's not enough filtration, but these discus that I keep in here are acclimated to tap water. I've got the three Marble Row Red discus. Those are Stenker discus. And then I've got the three Red Turquoise discus in here. Those were bred by a local breeder here in Ohio. Um, he has acclimated those to tap water, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, my water changes are just right out of my Aquion water changer, so... No big deal. But I make up for the lack of filtration by performing water changes. I do two 50% water changes a week on this aquarium. And that keeps the water parameters right in check, right where I like them. pH on this is 7.2. Like I said before, the discus are acclimated to tap water. So anything between 6.5 and I believe 7.8 is what they're saying. Uh, so that's an awesome feature about these discus. Uh, you don't have to worry so much. It's seriously the only difference between keeping this aquarium full of discus versus keeping an aquarium that I had before full of Congo tetras is twice as many water changes and twice as many feedings. It's, it's that simple. Uh, we got the three clown loaches. I only see two there, but three clown loaches. I got those at about an inch, and they are just getting fat, and they are happy. I love those fish. Uh, I've got a school. I've got 10 cardinal tetras back there. I've got some outcast quarry catfish back there. Uh, not really suitable for any of my other aquariums. I moved them out of my 20, uh, 20 high because the bacopa forest I have in there is just a quarry cat graveyard. They get stuck and they, and they die, which is not, which is not cool. Some of the problems that I've had in this aquarium in the past, uh, algae. I've had algae on the leaves. I still have a little bit, but the main main cause of that was just overfeeding, uh, which is what you want to do with discus. But you gotta you gotta keep that algae in check, and you gotta keep the nutrients and the water in check. Uh, one way to battle that is naturally water changes, and something else I've done on the lighting up here. We've got the marine land double bright. That's what's, uh, that's what's feeding those plants and keeping them alive. But what I've done here is I've actually taped over a lot of the nodes there. Uh, and that's really just reducing the light over the Anubias, keeping the algae in check. And it's still growing the swords really well. Uh, another light that I'm using up there is the Phoenix Monster Ray. That really brings out the, the color. It's one of my, all, my favorite, favorite things about this aquarium. Uh, the discus are extremely healthy and growing really fast. I got those marble reds. They were about two and a half inches when I first got them. Uh, they're well over three inches now. Uh, the red turquoise, I got them at four inches. These two are just blowing up. This guy down here, I think he's the lowest in the pecking order. I, I can't visibly see anything wrong with him. Uh, his poop looks good. He does eat. Um, but I think he's just a low man on the totem pole, so not growing as fast as the rest. 
We'll see how he does when we get him into a bigger aquarium with a, probably a couple more discus. I plan on getting uh, plan on getting three more penguin eruptions if uh, if this guy in Centerville here in Ohio can successfully get his pair to breed. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, I will be making several several videos on the 110. I plan on doing a wet dry sump filtration. I'm going to do an inline uh, bypass for a UV sterilizer. Uh, going to do a rundown on a substrate, a custom substrate plan that I've got going on. Uh, there will be several videos on that 110, so make sure you check that out. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, and then if I miss anything, I'll, I'll make more videos on these. I'll do updates, and if I if I think of something that I didn't mention, uh, I'll bring it up. If you guys see anything I didn't mention, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to accommodate any questions. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.